Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Marvin the Martian. So come on, let's get started. Hello, cartooners. Welcome back. Yes, I'm finally getting around to them. Let's draw Marvin the Martian right now. Okay, guys. Well, we are going to draw a circle about yay big. You can draw him nice and big on this page because he is two heads tall. So I was going to draw him head on, but I thought nah, it's kind of boring. So we're going to draw him uh, looking and facing over uh, on a three quarter angle. And uh, let's have him, I'm going off the model sheets here. Let's have him looking upward. So that horizontal line will go like this. Vertical will go like that. Now Marvin, if he's facing up this way, the neck will start right about here, right? We're going to give him line of action like so. Now the funny thing about Marvin is uh, he stands hunched over. So he has his butt kind of hanging out in the back. So his waistline is gonna be about halfway down, which means to get him to stand like this, I'm gonna have one foot kind of uh, forward. And the other one would be going forward a little bit on an awkward angle, right? But it's, it's gonna make sense when we're done. So his body shape. Be something like this. His legs are very thin. like so and his shoes he wears sneakers very nondescript sneakers like this they have a sole like that and these little ovals right here in the in the inside of the shoe Get this design in the front, which is nothing more than some lines that go across the top there. And I'm going to do the other one facing this way. Now notice I have this one on an angle. This one will be on a slight angle as well. You don't want them straight across. Because if they go straight across, he's going to be able to fall over, right? So. Give him a little bit of, of an opportunity to balance himself. So you guys might notice that I've done a little bit of work to my desk. Uh, my original drawing table was separate from the um, alcove I've made, all the shelving and stuff. So um, because it was separate, if I wasn't careful, um, it would rock a little bit and it would bang up against the shelves and make noise. And so I was holding it still while drawing on it. So for the last couple of years, I've been meaning to uh, continue some work on the desk. And I've finally done that. I actually have three interchangeable desktops. One is the one you're looking at right now. I was able to procure an animation disc. Can, can you believe it? I mean, check this out. You've got the dual peg bars, it swivels. Oh, it's a good time. I was one happy guy when I was able to get my hands on this thing. We've got some animation studios uh, out in Burbank that are switching up and getting a little more sophisticated with computer. And the studios were selling their equipment. So a fun thing about Marvin the Martian, sometimes when he comes in on his cartoons, he comes in as a small flying saucer. And then he pops out of it. And the flying saucer bit is left around his waist, kind of like a skirt or a ballerina's tutu. He cracks me up. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide that that skirt up a little bit but it it doesn't just have lines it has like little pie cutouts so 
So we're just gonna give these little sharp V shapes like that. And this, I'm calling it a skirt, for lack of a better term. I don't know what, what they called it. But they're three dimensional. So they may be about an inch thick around his waist. See, now that I've got the, the paper on pegs, <laughs> I get to move the disc finally. Oh, can you imagine how excited I am? Okay, so we've got the, the torso and the legs in. Let's, uh, let's throw in his head. So like, like we said before, he's facing upward, right? Because we've got that crosshairs angled like so. So a thing about Marvin the Martian is he has these great big, these great big oval eyes. They're just these narrow ovals. Like so. And the only time those ovals will switch around are due to his mood, right? I'll just have him kind of staring off there. Darken in this line here like that. And now we're going to need to put in the visor, right? He wears... It's almost reminiscent of like the Trojan uh, helmet back in the in the days so right down here I'm gonna throw in a light circle I'm going to bring that visor up a little bit because he's looking upward so that visor starts kind of thin here and then it gets thicker as it gets up here but it's three-dimensional goes around so we're gonna do that And bring it up like this. And there we are. All right. And now I'm going to kind of darken in the back part of that circle. And now from just inside that hinge there, we're going to give him... protective spot here just like a, the old Trojan helmets this protected your face from attack not that anything is successfully attacking Marvin he's usually on missions and things so And let's see, you see how I'm kind of figuring out the other side here very lightly, not even pressing down on the paper, figuring out that oval shape that's going to go around his neck. And there we go. That's perfection. Okay. This is the other cheek guard. I don't know what you would call this. I just know that it looks like it's drawn to model, and that's what I care about. Now, the only thing missing on his head would be the, what looks like a broom brush coming out of the back here. It's a curved rectangular shape, like so. has a rim on it here like so and then gotta throw that brush in there very lightly drawn in here so that we can separate sections here and there 
to give that bristle effect. And we'll do the same thing here. Just like that. And now that I've drawn that in, let's just throw in those arms. And yeah, I'm going to stick with the model sheet here. So his shoulders are underneath the helmet. His arms come about yay far. And his hands, yeah, let's erase that so that we can draw the hands in there successfully. He's just gonna have an open palm expression. Eraser there. Oh nope! I wore a hole in the in the paper. Oh, that's great. Maybe this is not the best quality paper I can buy. Okay. Um. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw in an open palm here. like this. He's got the cuffs around his gloves. And on this side, we'll just do the same. A little foreshortening here. And yeah, this hand could have been angled better. Well guys, if you like drawing videos like this, I've got whole playlists right here for you. I've got one right here specifically for Looney Tunes characters that should keep you uh, busy for a little while. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. And until the next video, we will see you later.